good to see you. Today we're back in Dollar Tree and I just came in here to get some flip flops because they didn't have any at Walmart. Um, and they actually have them here. They have them in a bunch of colors so it's really great. Uh, but while I'm in here, I thought we would do a little straightening. I walked over here. Now we do that stuff all the time and honestly it does kind of need it. I mean it's, you know, it could use a little work but I kind of feel like we need to do something different. Perhaps. I was thinking, um, maybe deodorant, like this right here. Look at this. They have power stick, and it's, um, like generic secret, I guess. Now, I don't know how many, how many rows of these we're supposed to do. Ooh, this one's weird. Oh, it's like, a, oh, it's a ball. It's one of the, you don't see those too much anymore. This is Lady Speed Stick, Invisible Dry Power. I guess I'll just do one of those. Now these are like dominoes. You have to be really careful. If you knock one down, they're all gonna go. I saw that they have some razors in here. They have, you can get two of these six bladed uh, razors for a dollar. Now I have not tried these, but I have tried the Lady version. And you know what, they're not bad. They're, they're actually pretty decent. I, yeah, they're all right. I don't like this like this. How about we do we do one row here? I'm gonna bring over about half, and then we bring up some more. I think this is just flex space. I could be wrong, but I don't know that this has any particular, you know, like it has to be in a certain spot. Now these are invisible drop power, and these are just invisible invisible dry and we'll do we'll do one little row of them there like this and that will leave room if they want to bring in any more and I don't like putting them right up to the edge because they get knocked down sometimes they get knocked down anyway but that's a little better now three of these lonely little invisible dries over here. Since we don't have anything else, we'll just put them there. And then here we have speed stick. We have several different kinds. We have fresh speed stick. And again, I don't want to bring them all the way up to the edge. Years of experience in retail, you know, it's just my instinct just to not to not do that because Oh, the lid came off that one. I shouldn't pick them up by the lid, I guess. Um, and then we have Speed Stick Regular. All day fresh. 24 hour protection. Um, they have the back door open and we're really close to a train track, so... If a train comes by, it might it might be kind of loud. I may have to pause if a train comes by, because <laughs> one actually came by a few minutes ago, and it was it was really loud. Oh, arid extra dry. I remember the commercials for that stuff back in the 80s. My mom, or I think my mom used to use the aerosol arid extra dry. Get all that deodorant back there. Oh, oh, don't fall, don't fall. See, it's all crammed up against the wall back there. There, look at that. Okay, that looks better. These shelves down here are always a challenge because there's not much room and this section, this section is a challenge because of this box. Let's see. This is Right Guard Sport. Right next to the Arid Extra Dry. Well, they have a lot of that. And then they have Arm & Hammer Ultra Max. Hmm. Oh, I 
remember this. Do you remember when they used to make liquids like this that came with a little ball? I think that's what this is. Comes with a little, a little roller ball like the computer mice used to do. This is Dial Professional. I think it was Dry Idea that used to make that. They had the little, it was a, basically just a bottle of liquid and a little roller ball in there. They have a lot of them though. Look at that. Okay. Now, let me see. What do we have down here? We have the same stuff down here. Um, but now you see it's, I can't really reach, <laughs> I can't really reach back there too well. So it's, it's tough. With these, sometimes the, about the best you can do is, um, bring up a few. It's, it's difficult. I like these because they have the little gripper things. It makes it a little easier to hold. Especially, especially if they have the kind of lid that's hard to remove. Sometimes the lid is hard to get off. Let's see. We have speed stick. Cool. This is cool fresh and that's cool clean. They all kind of smell the same to me. I can't really tell the difference. And that's more cool clean. Ooh, power of nature. It smells like an avalanche. That's devastating. That lady just laughed at me. <laughs> she heard what I said. Cool fresh. Yeah, I don't know if I want to smell like an avalanche. I mean, have you ever seen the side of, you know, the after effects of an avalanche? I saw a picture one time of an elk that got caught in an avalanche and it was trapped against a tree and it just died there. Oh, it was terrible. And I don't want deodorant that reminds me of that. The, ooh, power stick intensity. Oh, this is a body spray. This isn't even a deodorant. Huh. And they have another one. They have, um, whatever this is. Cool Blast. Huh. Interesting. A little 2.8 ounce can of body spray. Oh, look at this. Raspberry shave cream. I've never heard of a raspberry flavored shave cream. And they have um, a bunch of shave gel down there. And again, those are hard to reach, so really all I can do is just kind of bring up some like this. Ooh, look at this one. This is Scream Power Stick. It's called Power Stick, but it's a spray. That's confusing. I don't know what it smells like. I guess it smells like a scream. I don't know. I would have to test it to see if I even liked it before I bought it. They probably don't like you doing that, but I wouldn't just buy it out of hand, I'll tell you that. Now, as soon as I start making a video, everybody in here gets loud. What is that? It has been so peaceful and serene in here for the last 10 minutes. And now that I start a video, everybody gets animated. Oh, gosh. I smell axe or something. I think I disturbed the force over here. Spa therapy shave cream for sensitive skin. Now, see, I'll tell you what I do. I do not use, I do not use shave gel. Okay. It's a pretty orange can. I like it. From here, if you look at the top, it just looks like a can of silly string. And then we have the raspberry shave cream. And then we have just assured men's regular shave cream. You know my kids were the same way when I was when I was when they were little. I would try to make a little video of them and they would get along just fine until I turned that until I turned the recorder on and then they'd start fighting with each other and at least one of them would cry and like can I can I just have one one nice video of you two. I guess not. <laughs> Look at 
Look at these little things. That's kind of nice. Say hateful things to it. Okay. Well, look at that. Wow, it's better already. I like it. These razors look cool. I don't know if they work, but they're pretty. I like the green and black. That's really neat. Five bladed razor blades. You get three of them for a dollar. Yeah, I do like these, the six bladed ones. These are actually pretty decent razors. Um, but no, I don't use, I was, oh, like I was saying, I don't use shave cream. What I do, it's a trick I read in a magazine. Um, if you have a conditioner, like a hair conditioner that you don't like, just use that instead of shave cream. And it actually works really well as a, um, um, a replacement for shave cream. And I have this enormous bottle of conditioner that I bought and I really didn't like it for my hair so I've been using it as shave cream forever because you don't use a lot you know and it takes forever to use it up they even have cute little containers of utterly smooth hand cream daily moisture there and derma seal you know that's not a bad lotion either they have the um, the 10 ounce um, I guess it's the same thing I thought one was more of a cream but, but it's a decent, it's actually a decent, it's a decent, decent lotion. And here we have coconut oil in a little jar. I don't know if something else goes here or not. I'm going to leave it as it is. And here we have lots of these tubes of um, Dermaseal. They're both, um, both the tube and the bottle are 10 ounces. And these fall over very easily, so I have to be kind of careful when I reach back there. So you just bring them up um, slowly because they are definitely like dominoes. They will fall over and then I, it will wipe out the whole shelf. I don't know how far over these are supposed to go. Ooh, those are gonna fall. No. I have some aloe fresh back here from Dermasil. Now I have not tried this. I guess it's just the same thing but with aloe in it. Huh. Let's do, since I had to rescue those, let's just um, bring them on up. Well, they have a lot of it, don't they? I just bought a great big bottle of, um, whatchamacallit. Oh, what is it? The, um, oh, my mind's gone blank. It's been a long day. The oatmeal, new, the oatmeal lotion. I can't think of the name of it now. It's just gone completely out of my mind. The bottles look like this. I'll think of it as soon as I get done, I'm sure. But I just bought a huge bottle of that. Oh, they have little tubes of that, too. And then they have just... This is from Assured. They make a lot of their generic over-the-counter medications. Boy, that's big. That's 20 ounces of lotion for a dollar. That's that's a really good deal. I go through a lot of lotion this time of year. I'm sure everybody does. Here's a diabetics hydrating lotion. Huh. Cool. And this is upside down. What is this? Oh, a little hand cream therapy set. You get green tea, sweet berries, and vanilla passion. Nice. Okay. 
And then they have all kinds of little mouthwashes. Like they, ooh, they have a close-up mouthwash. This has calcium and it's cinnamon flavored. And Lavoris. I knew a woman who named her daughter Lavoris. Yeah, I did. Let's see. One more Lavoris for the road. Okay. They also have Lavoris whitening. They don't have it with the other Lavoris, though. It's kind of weird. And then we have Assured Oral Health Prints. Kids Anti Cavity. Fluoride Rinse. My kids like the Act Fluoride Rinse, which I think this is a version of that. I was very glad they had flip flops. I looked all over Walmart and couldn't find any. Even though on the Walmart app it said they had some, they did not have any. Maybe they haven't put them out yet. Oh, and look at the little cups. You can get little paper cups. These are mini paper cups. They don't stand up too well. Look at them wobbling. And then we have Frozen. Looks like we have mini and Frozen. And Disney Princesses. Down here we have, I guess this is like generic Listerine. Bunches of those. Now that's a 16.9 ounce bottle. I don't like Listerine. Here's the original. Now that's the blue mint and this is original which tastes like what I imagine lighter fluid tastes like. I remember when it used to come in glass bottles. Because I'm old. And then they have spring mint. Ooh, well, at least you have variety. You know, that's always good. The shelf is not terribly stable. And then this here is a pre-brush. This is like generic plaques. Which has been around. Oh, and then we have generic scope down here. Refreshing mint mouthwash. There are 24 ounces in these bottles. Scope I like. There we go. Whew. All right. So that's got this. I know I said we weren't going to do this, but let's come over here and do a little bit anyway. What is this? Restful sleep. Oh, it's melatonin gummies. Oh, I don't know where that came from. We have some here that are multivitamins. Vitamin D3. Biotin. Oh. Huh. I'm looking for restful sleep. It's probably right in front of me. Oh, no, it's not. It's over here. Oh, that's interesting. It doesn't have a hole in it, though. That's probably why it's not hanging on the clip strip. Well, I don't know where to put it now. Yeah, they're not hanging up because they don't have a hole to hang them from. So we're going to stick them over here in purgatory. Here we have the cough syrups. Always nice. People ask me all the time if I ever feel self-conscious. I would tell you now I don't. There are people walking by me all the time, and you know what? They're paying me. They're paying me no mind. They're here to shop, and they don't care what I'm doing. They really don't care. I promise you, they do not care. But get back up there. Bad feel. 
so don't worry. There's nothing to worry about. Everything is all right. There's a little thing here that's... See, if I put it there, it's going to sit sideways, and I don't like that. So this is just generic Z-Quill, which is nothing but diphenhydramine. It tastes terrible, but I guess it works. And here we have, this is like um, Robitussin, Mucus, and Chest. It has guafenicin in it, which is an expectorant, which the expectorant loosens that junk in your chest. I love that overhead announcement thing. The intercom. It's wonderful. It's hard to reach back there. That's what all these are. And then we have generic Pepto Bismol. The manager here sounds like um, Jeff Spicoli from Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I keep hearing him talk and <laughs> it's like, my God, I'm, I'm in an 80s movie. I think he's in the back. And uh, then we have the cute little bottles of antacid that I always like to see. See the little look? I know I'm not rotating the stock properly. Sorry. I'll just push them up. all over here. This stuff is all mixed up. You got Pepto-Bismol, then you got Witch Hazel. See, I, I would think the Witch Hazel would be with, um, I don't know, I just feel like it should be in another part of the store. But what do I know? I didn't design the layout. Well, that's a little better up there. And then we have the Witch Hazel. Here, you know what? Keep it like that. There we go. And then we have chest rub. That's like generic X Vapo rub. Oh, that container is different. It looks like a. It's slightly different, but it's the same thing. I think they're the same. Maybe they just changed the way it looks at some point. I don't know which ones are older. It's, it's chest rub. It's, it's Vicks Paper Rub. That stuff's good forever. And then we have the generic Afrin. This one lady keeps going back and forth down the aisle perpendicular to me. And she's on the phone and she, she's been back and forth now about six times. She's like one of those ducks in a shooting gallery that just keeps going back and forth. And she's, she's on the phone, and she's just talking away, and just she's just going back and forth. <laughs> I have to keep pausing, because she keeps coming through here. <laughs> oh, the Afrin. These boxes are not, I mean, you see how they wobble? They fall over very easily. I think the only thing that falls over easier are the eye drops. And look. Ooh, <laughs> they even have a psoriasis cream. Look at that. What's in here? Salicylic acid. Oh, huh, cool. They have hydrocortisone, anti-itch, um, generic neo neosporin. Here we have artificial tears. And some more artificial tears. Some are made by Family Care. 
Some are made by Medic's Choice. And then we have just plain old eye drops from Family Care. There. Ooh, that makes me happy. I like that. They have some nasal strips down here. Those things don't work on me. I wake up halfway through the night and it's stuck to my pillow because I toss and turn a lot. I'm going to move the restful sleep and fix the milk of magnesia too. Look at that giant pill box. Lord, if you need that many pills, I hate it for you. I could fit my five outfits for the week in those compartments just about. That's huge. They have cute little things like this first aid kit. Look at that. It comes with band-aids, gauze pads, and alcohol prep pads. A little travel size for a dollar. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to work on this a little bit before we go. I just, I always get drawn back to these little boxes. Should we do three? Is that too many? I don't think it is. I don't know how far I'll get, but we'll we'll do a little bit. And then yeah, low dose aspirin. Formerly known as baby aspirin, but I guess they don't give it to babies anymore. Oops. Oh, there's a lot of this low dose aspirin, isn't there? And then we have acetaminophen hiding over here. This is one reason why I don't like clip strips because you can't you can't get to stuff. See, it's hard to you, you don't even see it. You might totally miss it if you're over here looking for it. Oops! Oh, look what I did. I mess it up. This one doesn't even want to fit. Oh, here she comes again. Lord have mercy, that's the seventh, I think the seventh time she's walked through here. She did finally get off the phone, though. And then she put eight things of mothballs in her cart. I'm telling y'all, mothballs are not worth it. They make everything stink. I'd rather just take my chances with the moth. Plus, it just feeds the cliche that old people smell like mothballs, and that's unfortunate, too. Yeah, don't, don't use mothballs. That's bad. See, now, these, these stupid little things here get in the way. What is this? Ibuprofen. Okay, that's the... Wait a minute. Nope, that goes over here. These are the soft gels. You only get six of them in the bottle. You can get six soft gels or 40 coated tablets for a dollar. And here, this is back and body. This is aspirin and caffeine. of that, that thing. I don't like that. Um, it's phenylephrine. And then we have allergy relief. That goes down there. Sinus congestion and pain. I shouldn't say it out loud because I'll jinx it, but we've been really lucky. We haven't had any sickness in my house in a long time. I shouldn't say that though, because by bedtime we'll probably all be sick with something. You would think by now they'd find a better way to make these things where they don't get in the way of the product, but no. This is tension headache relief. Well, I can't get in there to move it, but. I think that's that's good enough for that row. But look, look what we did here. Look how nice this looks. 
all oh, this up here this looks so pretty look at that oh my goodness and then if you come over here you can see what we did here we fixed the deodorants and the shave cream and shave gel stuff and we fixed the lotion look at that oh my gosh I think it looks great it's definitely an improvement so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this beautiful work and I will see you again really soon.